Hello and welcome back to another guide for Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Heiken and today we're going to explore the action point system in this game, which is a very important concept, so I'm dedicating a specific guide for that. In this quick guide, we're going to go through how action points work and how you can use that to your advantage. So let's um, start right away. In um, Warhammer 40k, you're going to have two different distinct statuses. Uh, one being uh, out of combat and the other one being in combat. And the reason why that is important is because it will determine how the action points are being used. So I'll give you a concrete example. Currently we've started here um, in this particular mission and we're out of combat. Uh, meaning uh, we can move as many or as little of uh, these uh, space marines to the point where we are uh, either running out of AP. You can see the chaplain here has zero AP, uh, whilst the librarian still has one AP, the others are full. Um, so either everybody runs out of AP, and in this case, a warp a search will happen, and then the next turn will happen. So that's a one way of ending the turn. Um, a second way of forcing it would be just ending the turn. Now, when that happens, uh, enemies are getting a turn. Typically, they are moving around a bit, not relevant for this uh, very guide but what is relevant for this guide is the understanding that the second status in the game is in combat and in combat triggers whenever you are getting into the vision range of an enemy um, pot or patrol these are being displayed as blips and the moment that your vision range kind of hits them you are going to be in their range and one easy way of doing that and getting very close to them is basically teleporting and i will use gate of infinity in order to make a point here gate of infinity is a stratagem that you get relatively early in the game and it teleports every single one of the knights to a certain position but deducts one of their ap so when that is happening we should have two zero zero two let's uh, do exactly that so we're choosing a location very close to that one we're triggering it silver dolls shall we play together and you can see once the bot is triggered and once we are in combat a couple of things are happening all of the weapons are being reloaded every single one of our marines uh, will get three ap back and some of the enemies will get the option to take their turn typically to overwatch so we're back in a three 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 state that means if we are then killing all of uh, these enemies we are going to leave combat again and if we could do that in just one turn or in that very same turn we would again be uh, getting all of our action points back. So let me do that uh, real quick and then I'll show you how exiting combat also restores your action point. Good, we are back. We've just killed all of them in one turn, which is fantastic. It was a quick uh, turnaround. And with that, you can see that we have regained all uh, of our action points. You can see the war risk has uh, progressed but we're still in the first turn and now here are a couple of interesting concepts that you can do with it for starters you can uh, con if you can continue to teleport fast enough between packs then you can effectively continue to be consecutively in the same round of battle that means that stratagems like um, the crit stratagem uh, will effectively give you 50% crit flat for the entirety of your turn and that carries over. However, there are certain limitations that I need to show you. One of them are auto uh, abilities that are triggering. Since you continue to be in the same, uh, in the same circle, uh, you will get refreshed uh, cooldowns but your auto abilities, since it is per turn, will not refresh. So what that means for you is that, for instance, support fire, as you're entering your second and third and fourth pack, will not continue to refresh. So that is a limitation. The second uh, info that you should have, uh, specifically around the gate of infinity, is that if you are gating in, 
and the gate reduces everyone to zero AP, then that ends your turn right there before the enemy is triggered and then a new turn starts. So that's a bit of an exception. The third info that you should gain is even if you are very, very far away and we're using the chaplain here as an example just to regain some willpower in between uh, as we're harvesting a few seeds. Even if you're that far away, you can use teleportation and I'm using anyone in this case so to not make it only about the library. You can use teleportation move up and even if you then trigger enemies the new uh, round will start again and with that new round you are going to get refunded a full set of three ap now here is yet another info that you need to, uh, to uh, uh, need to take in and that's why this situation is so so perfect the moment that warp gates open and you see that something is on the stack of the timeline, defend the uh, bloom spawn, uh, essentially that warp gate is coming in in one turn. That means that the mechanism of round ending does no longer work. You're considered to still be in combat with this uh, portal until next uh, turn. So a couple of those missions where therefore the one turn clear doesn't work is missions where you are um, uh, where you are opening portals such as uh, bloom uh, spreader missions, um, the defense of uh, the Morbus gate missions, um, as well as you're def uh, defending the seed carrier missions where you are trying to defend Astra Militarium. So those are typically the missions where you can't just clear it in one uh, go, but other missions very much uh, will work with that. So let's use let's use what we've learned to our advantage. Um, we can still use Gateway to Infinity in order to teleport in and although it costs us one uh, AP on every single character, it is still very much worth it. Combine it with um, cleansing ourselves so that we're um, not um, taking afflictions and we're good to go to take these guys out. I'll do that real quick and then uh, showcase how the gates um, will impact the whole action economy and the mechanic around that. Good, to close out this small guide, we have killed every single one of uh, the enemies, um, ended up with even more AP than we uh, started with, uh, thanks to the incredibly strong stun team. I wanted to talk about getting ready for these events here. As you're getting ready for uh, gateways, you will need to know that uh, Overwatch in particular um, will use as much ammunition and AP as you have uh, left over in order to yeah, basically hit um, enemies. And when you are waiting for that um, to happen, you will, uh, you will see that uh, you're getting damage in at the beginning of their turn. Last info, um, so you're making it easier for yourself, hence whenever you do have the option, try to uh, create these traps. Last info that I want to um, give you with this guide is um, how uh, preparation of enemies generally works. When enemies are um, coming through, just like uh, this year uh, for instance, they will never directly attack you, it is the XCOM logic that the enemies will either use overwatch uh, buffing uh, themselves or sometimes put afflictions onto you the only exception for uh, someone who can use their gun right off uh, the gateway are plague bearing marines that do have those plague spreader guns so they from time to time immediately hit you other than that I hope that this guide introduced very well how the uh, core concept of the one turn clearing and the action point utilization in Warhammer works. Um, I hope you've taken something from it. If that's the case, leave a comment uh, down below and uh, you might want to consider checking out the other guides that I do have. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye bye.